What's up, guys? It's your boy Jamal Mark back again with another video, man. We're in the garage with it today, working on the CBR. Uh, just a little life update on the toy. I cracked my oil pan. I didn't even crack it like with a crash, and then I cracked it by tightening the bolt down too tight. Ricky, move. Uh, I really need to invest in a torque wrench for you know motorcycle purposes and car purposes or whatever. But I'm just gonna let y'all see what I got going on right now as far as the bike goes. Uh, hopefully I can bring y'all some Monte Carlo content real soon for all my Monte Carlo subscribers. But if you like bikes, you in the Honda CBRs, check this out. All right, so this little garage set up. I do studio lights in here for when I work at night. But fairings is off the bike. I uh, just had to take the side fairing off and the bottom belly fairing. It goes sitting right here. Now, most of y'all already probably seen the bike, but if you're new to the channel, that's for you to see. All right, so first things first, um, I had to take the radiator off. Um, so, I imagine it was sitting like this up under, behind this front wheel. It was sitting like this. The fan is on the left side of the bike. Um, you take these two screws out. You unplug your thermostat wire for your fan um, and your stay bracket or whatever you want to call it that kind of hooks around your exhaust you got to uh, pull that from around the exhaust and then obviously take off the upper and lower radiator hose on this side which is right here here and here and then your upper on the other side which is right here so do that first. I highly recommend you do that first. If you can get it done without doing that, you're a cold, you're a cold person. Um, so with my particular headers, they had like the, I guess, I don't even know what to call these, but it's, it's threaded on both sides. It's threaded on the inside, and then it's threaded right here. And then they have these like bolts that screw onto the, the other end, I'm sorry, like this. Um, so boom, I had to take those off and then I had to pull my exhaust off, but it was still stuck a little bit. And then you have another bolt. The reason why I was stuck, this, uh, this other one right here, this has like a washer, some type of washer up here. This bolt goes under right, I think it's like right here. Let's see if I can give y'all a view of it. I think it goes like somewhere. Is that it? Oh no, it goes right here. I'm tripping. It goes right here. Um, and then your headers will come off. This part right here, the Yoshi mirror. The Yoshi mirror goes front of the tail, right behind this um, rear brake bracket. And then it just dropped out. I didn't have to, I don't know if it's supposed to do that, but it just dropped out from under here, right here. Um, and I just pulled it and sat it over there. Just the full headers. Oh yeah. They also come with these little things right here. These screws actually go through here like that. And then you just screw it into the uh, block. But yeah, um, if you guys wondering how did I even do this, I was just doing a routine oil change in the garage. You know, I changed the filters, a brand new filter. A brand new filter up there. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. Um, and then <clears throat> I had done the whole like oil change. I dropped my old oil, it's still sitting right here. Um, this is the new oil that I was using. It was in the bike, but I just drained it back out, put it back in here because it was just all spilling all on the floor. Uh, I think it's like some pretty good oil. Y'all let me know if y'all use it in the comment section. But yeah, and as I was like tightening up my bolt, I was not paying attention. I was actually listening to somebody like talk or something and I was still cranking and I accidentally just tightened it up too tight. And if you haven't seen it already, this little hairline crack right here. You can see, I'm gonna zoom in just so y'all can see how simple that is. That is the reason why I'm replacing this oil pan, you know? Somebody probably could weld this, but I'm just gonna replace the whole pan. I don't feel like dealing with it again. That weld is probably gonna 
Last for a little bit. Sorry for that truck pressing. That weld is probably gonna last for a little bit and then start leaking again. So I'm just gonna get a whole nother pan. I think they're like one something on eBay or something. I get most of my parts from eBay. Um, while I have the pan down, just so you can look up in here if anybody ever cared to see what it looks like up in here. And my gears and stuff right there. I don't really know too much about this stuff right here, but I just know you drop an oil pan, put it back up there, align the bolts. These are all the bolts. So the radiator bracket to hold that little thing right there, and then here's all the bolts. So waiting on a new oil pan, and then we're gonna replace it. It'll be a separate video, but you just reverse the step. Take the new pan, put some gasket maker on it probably. Butt it up, put your screws in, screw it back down. Then I will put my exhaust on, back on. Um, while I'm like while I'm working on the bike, I'm trying to figure out all these leaks. Like I, I resealed this. Did you see the fresh gasket maker? I don't know if I did a good job or not, but it's whatever. But I think it's still leaking, obviously. Um, so I might end up popping that back off and try to seal it again. But we're gonna see. I'm really trying to get this bike to no leaks at all. Yeah, it's still leaking. Um, but that could be from like when I did the oil change. Who knows? Um, but yeah, just trying to get the bike back up and running before summer ends. Um, but yeah, keep y'all updated when the pan comes in and I'll. Show y'all how to put this stuff back together. If you need to see that video, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, man. I appreciate y'all. Peace.